Okay guys, we're uh, at my new friend John's house and we're uh, he had some problems with his little Baja. He's got this sweet looking 68 Baja. It's got a swing axle and a 1600 in it with uh, dual 40 Webers and yeah you can put 40 Webers on a 1600. You don't even have to put a cam or anything in it. He's got nice headers and stuff on it. You want a free flowing exhaust and uh, got drum brakes and he had some problems with uh, somebody built this thing out and did it was all custom uh, it was already done when John bought it and he asked me if I'd help him get his fuel pump going and get the thing to start up and uh, these types of systems here are when you buy a car he, he got some paperwork on it that had a list of what the fuses do so we just use some basic troubleshooting techniques and uh, one of the things that seemed like was a problem was they have a rocker switch inside the car and what we did is just uh, jump her by that switch that switch got broken somehow and the guy wired the fuel pump this is kind of handy to have the fuel pump where you can get at it. I might move mine up there. Mine's down below underneath so it's all gravity. And if you buy an electric fuel pump, they'll always tell you to put it on at the low point. But this is still underneath the gas tank and I think that's, that's fine. Um, but you want to make sure, double check, triple check, make sure when you've got these uh, type of fuel pumps, especially these rotor pumps, uh, you don't want to be pushing five, six pounds of fuel pressure into those carburetors. And you want to be real careful of things like this with, uh, this clamp is tightened down so much it's, it's actually deformed the, the little filter here. And it's got a nice pre-filter. looks like, you know, I don't know what kind of tank that was original or remanufactured, but, um, yeah, this is a nice car, beautiful paint job. It's got some disc brakes on it and uh, we were having a little problem with the uh, brake lights not working and it's got the little the little rag top it's got a full uh, display it's got your uh, looks to me like the scat seats I recognize these seats I had them in my Carmen Ghia uh, mine were probably a little bit older and they didn't give you enough uh, didn't give me enough per, uh, and with the Carmen Ghia, you sat real low, and I just felt like my knees were straight out. And I finally sold that car. I kept it for like 10 or 12 years. But we've got a full complement of uh, Pro Comp gauges, and they all seem to be working. And uh, I'm not going to start it up. And you got some turn signal indicators. So, completely new, redone dash. and nice carpet kit uh, nice door panels and really a professional job I'm so impressed I uh, met John at the Volkswagen's on the green car show he was looking at uh, Rusty out there in the parking lot and we got to talking and he told me that he had a Baja and was having problems not not that far from me but it's a ways and I told him I'd come by and and see if we could get this thing running at least it's a shame to have something like this not moving and it's got those nice weld wheels I'm not a big fan of uh, wheel adapters but nonetheless it's very pretty that's for sure um, and here's you know a couple of things that that these are my personal observations and I don't think um, you know everybody's got their opinions right so here's some opinions on mine the chrome everything looks nice I think that's really great and I think it's good to have an alternator especially if you're running dual carbs well, I just have a lot of generators on my cars because that's what I had sitting around and you're we're always trying to save money uh, but you'll notice that the coils not here and one of the things I wanted to do when it wouldn't start was make see if I had power uh, at the hot side of the coil and you know you can imagine being out in the mud someplace and having to work on I don't think this car is going to get to see too much mud but John says he bought it to to go off-road and exploring with and another thing that I wasn't real happy to see were these real small these things aren't even as big as my finger 
These are the oil lines for his remote oil filter. And I think they should be bigger. If you, you know, this is a stock 1600, but my golly, if it was anything bigger, you would definitely uh, be starving your your bearings with some oil, I'm thinking. It just, I just would like to see bigger uh, high pressure lines. You can't use heater hose, and maybe somebody can tell me, this sounds like these are rated pretty high. Where did I see that? I saw a bar. This is Armor Flex 3 8 or 9.5 millimeter. That's like fuel line holes, I always thought. And I thought I saw 7 bar on here. Oh, 17 bar. P17 bar. And these uh, are from 03, which I don't know. They're still soft. But man, I just, I'd feel a lot better if he had some. Uh, either stainless steel braided hose or uh, some power. I use power steering line. It's a little larger diameter and uh, he's got some nice bling here. Somebody painted the case. You can see that and I'm not a big fan of that either but uh, you know when you start adding headers and carburetors like this your engine is going to perform better. It's going to rev quicker and it has the capability of running higher RPM until the valve springs shut you down. Um, so, you know, I, I told John now, you know, you just need to put a lot of miles on this thing close to home before you start adventuring out into the mountains and stuff. And, and uh, a setup like this, I, man, I... I couldn't own anything this pretty and shiny. This thing is absolutely just mint. It's just gorgeous. And I'm, I get, I don't have a garage to keep my stuff in and all the time. Something's gotta stay outside. And we get hail and bad weather here. And you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, got some nice, what size were these tires here? 275, 60, 15s. Boy, they sit nice. Um, and they'll, they'll, you'll get a few rock chips and stuff on them, mostly from the front wheels. Um, a little, a little mud flap or something to uh, stop the rocks from coming back. I've got those little Nerf bars on mine over there. You guys have seen that and all the paints off of them and all my paints off of here. And, but, uh, really a nice looking car. And I just thought you guys would like to have a look at it and John was nice enough to let us show now see I was wondering about that hey you gotta lift the hood on this one anytime you want to put gas this is an earlier gas tank and the later gas tanks like mine um, let's see Valerie's a 66 I'm not sure on 67 but uh, evidently 68 on they have the fuel fill door on the outside and when I was looking at my car I thought I was tired of always lifting the hood on Valerie to put gas in there and I, I kind of like that but that's just a just a stupid personal thing and uh, but a really nice car now everything's all banded up and it uh, it's not really it doesn't look like it was really color-coded and we're having trouble getting the brake lights so there's a red light in there you really always have to watch your grounds be aware that you know you have fiberglass Baja fenders so you do have to run a separate ground wire and they've done that um, and they've run it up here to the to the body and oh he's even got the vented valve covers oh nice he's got the vents hooked up to him I don't think you really need that on him but um, he's put the uh, crankcase vent uh, up here to the air cleaner that would be good enough for a 1600 I'm sure and I don't see serial numbers on the case so this was uh, oh yeah maybe there are there I just ran my finger across it see how the paint comes off <laughs> that's kind of crazy well I thought I started to see something there it looks like this would be a uh, replacement case it's got the fuel pump block off Sure is nice. I, I can't wait to go on some adventures with John and he's got it's solid mounted.
transmission solid mounted. I don't have mine solid mounted. I, I had it at one point and then I took them off and just made it stock uh, heavy duty rubber mounts that just quieter and smoother and the trouble is here oh you can't see the mountains from from John's place but uh, it uh, it's a long ways from the mountains and you know we're not trailer in this stuff we drive our cars I drive mine and I'm sure John hasn't had this for real long so once he gets uh, gets the bugs worked out of this baby he's gonna be putting some miles on it and we'll be doing some riding together isn't that gorgeous anyhow just thought I'd throw up a short video and let you know I'm still there hard at work thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy out